Our nation has dealt with three horrific mass shootings in less than a month. In the wake of those shootings, many of us are asking, how do we stop the gun violence? What can we do? That was the topic of a community forum tonight on gun violence. Brian Wilk was at the forum and joins us live in the control room with more. Brian. That's right, Jennifer. June 3rd is National Violence Awareness Day. And after a series of deadly mass shootings across the country, plus a spike of violence here in Erie, Pennsylvania, the community is looking for solutions to reduce violence and make Erie a safer place to live. The community has the solution to gun violence. That was the main message as a panel of experts discussed strategies to prevent violence in Erie. According to Ceasefire PA, in 2020, homicides jumped 43 percent statewide, the highest number of deaths in recorded history. It doesn't have to be this way. We know that we can prevent gun violence, we can reduce the shootings by investing in community-based programs. He says lives can be saved by investing and educating our community. We're educating the public, we're bringing this information to, to elected officials, and we're asking that they increase funding in the state budget. We want $80 million in the budget to support community-based programs, school-based programs, programs run by local governments um, through grants to support community-based violence prevention. One speaker on the panel is from Buffalo, New York. Watching the events unfold there as we were planning and preparing to come here really, I think, solidify why this is so important, why we need to talk about it, and why we need to provide um, resources that can create and foster a, a healthy narrative in our community. One community member that showed up to the forum says prevention and youth violence can deter future violence. I'm glad that it brought up great discussions and great uh, topics and they gave good explanations about if we did have more teen funding from ages 11 to 17, we could impact the community in a better way. And Fleetman with Ceasefire PA adds that gun violence costs Pennsylvania $12 billion every year, just an economic impact. Jennifer? All right, Brian Wilk, live in our control room tonight. Thank you, Brian.